Hey guys, Tech Adventure with a video for you guys. In today's video, we're going to show you guys how to factory reset your iPhone 13 Pro or any of the 13 lineup. This method will work on any iPhone running iOS 15 and above. And this method is going to be pretty much similar to the older version of iOS as well. But before we dive into today's video, if you guys are new to our channel, we do a lot of tech news reviews and giveaways. So make sure that like and subscribe button. Also, if you guys are on the market looking to upgrade or looking for one of the newer phones at a discounted price, make sure you guys check out the links in the description section. So let's go ahead and show you guys how to do this. Before even continuing or thinking about factory resetting and deleting everything on your iPhone, which will completely erase all of your information, photos, videos, documents, books, whatever you had on your phone is that you want to make sure that you backed up your device. So even before proceeding to this, make sure you're backed up. There's a couple ways to back it up. You can back it up to your iCloud account. You can not back it up to your computer by using iTunes. You can transfer the stuff over to a new phone, another phone that you already have. But make sure whatever you do that your information is backed up if you want to keep the copy of that. And we explained that in other videos. So make sure you guys check out those videos on how to back up your device. So that's going to be the first thing. After you have completely backed up and you know sure that you know you don't care about deleting everything off your phone because if you backed it up, you're going to be safe. You'll be able to get that data is now it's time to do the actual factory reset. The first thing you want to do whenever you do do a factory reset, it's go into settings and then sign out of your Apple ID on it. So you're going to probably be signed in with your name and your email. You're going to want to go ahead and click on the sign out button. Once you sign out, it's going to ask you for your password. So we're going to enter our password here. And if you don't know your password, you can simply reset it as well and through your email or through the actual phone itself. So we put in that password for this demo email and then we're going to go ahead, click on turn off and it's going to say verification fail or you might have to do it again if you entered it wrong. So we're going to go ahead and do it one more time. This time we are going to try it one more time, click on turn off and as you can see this time it's going to give you this message whether you want to keep all the copy of it if you didn't back it up to iCloud you can simply choose whatever you want by default it's turned off which is going to hit sign out and then it's, uh, it's going to ask us are we sure and this will completely remove your account this is very really important because if you reset it without removing that the next time someone tries to set it up or if you try to set it up you're going to be simply you're going to be asked for that email and password. It's going to be what's known as iCloud log activation log. And that's pretty much the, makes the phone useless because you can't get back into the phone. So once you have done that, now we're ready to actually do the factory reset. And to do the factory reset, it's going to be pretty, pretty straightforward. Again, we're going to be in settings. This time we're going to go, we go down to general. And then after we went to general, we're going to scroll all the way down. And then there's going to be an option where it says transfer or reset iPhone. We're going to click on that. Once we do that, we're going to get a menu like this and this menu is important because there's a couple things you can do you can actually move your things over transfer it, or simply if you have already done that we're going to use this option where it says erase all content and settings once we click on that it's going to give us this message where it says erase this iphone which pretty much will be removing all of your personal data safely so that you can either trade it in or give away or sell it whatever you do with it and you'll see this as well and we want to hit continue here so one more time we're going to hit continue and this is going to be another message where it says are you really sure you want to do this this is why we kept on mentioning that you want to make sure you're backed up or move your information over if you want to keep that in all of your stuff so we're going to do that and once you've done that it's going to get to this screen which is basically doing a reset, complete factory reset, erasing everything, your personal information, everything that you had back to when you originally got the phone. And this method can take somewhere between a couple minutes to even 10-15 uh, minutes. Again, it's going to depend on how much data and information you had on your phone. So if you had maybe like a terabyte of information, it's going to be taking longer because there's a lot of stuff to phone has to run through and delete but if you have less stuff it's going to be quicker of course you can always do is delete things ahead of time like videos that are like the ones that usually take up a lot of space on your phone photos apps as well that can speed up this whole process uh quite 
a bit but again be patient and you're going to want to make sure this process completes and you want to be able to get to the hello screen that's going to indicate the phone has been fully factory reset and you're good to go there and during this time there's one troubleshooting tips we're going to show you guys is that make sure you're connected to a power source if your phone is below 50 percent we've seen that sometimes you go to do this reset and it doesn't have enough power and it gets stuck so you want, you want to make sure that is not the case for your phone so hopefully this video is helpful if this video is helpful please make sure that, that like and subscribe button and finally we get to this hello screen that we just referred to this means the phone has been factory reset now the next person or if you're trading it in they were able to reuse the phone and all of your information is gone from the phone thanks for watching guys see you guys next time